While I was out of town over the weekend, we went to the local Extension Homemakers uh, craft show and yard sale. And one of the tables that was set up had this to give away. It came in this tote. It almost fills it up and it's pretty heavy because of some heavy items. It included this list, basic necessities, food, a three day supply, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you have more than one family member, like we do, you will want to make sure there's enough food for each person. So you would multiply whatever is here. Let me put this down. Whatever is here uh, by the number of people in your, ha in your household. Anyway, so it came with a gallon of clean drinking water, bleach, so that you can uh, sanitize water if you're gone longer than you expected. And one gallon of water is not enough for three days. You really need about a gallon of water a day per person. Uh, snack bars, raisins, peanut butter crackers, Slim Jims, gotta love those, Pop-Tarts, Planter's Nuts, uh, a tuna salad snack kit, and a chicken salad snack kit, and Vienna sausages for the foods. Because you, you're not gonna be as concerned about salt content as you are about gaining calories that that you're going to need if you're on foot you got because you're going to burn a lot of calories on foot it also came with this weather radio which we already tried out we already put the batteries in it it came with a package of batteries a two mil drop cloth so you can make yourself a temporary shelter a pretty nice uh, first aid kit and there'll probably be more things you want to put in it than what's in there. Always add to, you know, and keep it uh, stocked up. Uh, let's see, where was I going with this? Okay, a whistle. Tell you when you're out uh, walking around, you're you're going to need a whistle more than you're going to need your voice because a whistle, the sound of it will carry a lot further. Another little survival kit. We already looked at it. It's got quite a few little items, but this you could uh, clip this onto your belt or your backpack if you're carrying a backpack like a bug out bag. And it's got some uh, cordage, baby wipes for more than just baby for washing your hands or taking a quick like what what we call a bird bath. Stormproof matches, windproof, waterproof. Very important. You might not have a, you might not have a lighter with you. Flashlight with batteries in it. Duct tape. You got to have duct tape, especially if you are going to make a shelter out of this plastic. You're going to need to duct tape it together. A heavy, I mean, a, a can opener. For items that you add to the kit that will need a can opener. Dust mask to help your breathing. Nitrile gloves to help keep your hands clean when you're doing things like uh, cleaning up bathroom messes. And down under here are some kitchen garbage bags. And those would be good for uh, bathrooms. You can just line a bucket with one of those and use it that way. And a pair of heavy-duty pliers. This is for turning off utilities, like your gas, your water, whatever. We're on solar here, so we don't worry too much about that because we're not on the main grid. And then, I, while I was walking around, I picked up this little battery-operated fan. And it works. Needs new batteries in it, but it does work. And I picked up, of all things... A potato masher because as much as I cook and can and all the stuff that I do that y'all have seen on video I don't, I don't have a, a potato masher I was using a pastry blender anyway so 
this should give you some ideas. That list on the oh, let me get down here and get it again. Ooh, bending over. On the other side, it has a list of additional items to consider, such as prescription meds and glasses, infant uh, baby food, formula, pet food, documents, money, all kinds of things, extra clothing, lots of things that you might also want to add to this basic emergency kit. So let me know, do you have, sorry about my finger, do you have a basic emergency kit at your house? Do you have a bug out bag or what they call a get home bag? Something you can take with you if you have to leave suddenly. The way this is set up is you pack everything in this tote and leave it in there. Be sure and watch your dates on the uh, food. Trade them out when you need to for fresh food. <coughs> I'm sorry. But it'll all packed into this tote and all you, you just grab and go. And each person in your home should have a tote of their own with what they specifically need. Anyway, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.